Alright, um, so if you're thinking about getting dreads and you want to know if you have enough hair to start, um, then I just want to let you know how much your hair might shrink. So again, this is for my hair. Um, I have like curly, wavy, um, thin hair. Um, so when I started um, trying to dread my hair, uh, about almost like a year and a half ago, like a year and four months ago, um, my hair was, I think, down to like here-ish. And you can see in, in the first videos on my channel, you can like accurately see exactly how long it was. I think it was about here. So um, a year and four months later, some of the locks are down to here. Some of the locks are down to like here-ish. Um, these are obviously the ones that dreaded later. Um, one of the first ones I had was, uh, I think this was the first dread on my head and it's really, really tight, but because I was, um, messing around with it and like pulling it all the time and trying to straighten it out, um, this part actually just ripped off. And so there is another two to three inch chunk here. And like I tend to do that a lot where I like keep messing with my hair and pulling out um, like the knots because it would get like a long strand and then like a big, big circle knot at the bottom. And I wasn't having that. So I would like kind of peel it open and straighten it back out, which is exactly what I did to this one. Um, so this one, so yeah, not really 100% neglect. It got some attention. Um, but this one was normal to about here. And then all of this stuff was just like zigzagged super tight. And it like looked something like that. And I didn't like that. So I just kind of like worked it out and opened it up, like opened up that zigzag maybe cut a little bit of like hairs that were holding it together. And this is really, really long. Um, like my hair has definitely gotten longer since when I started. And that's because, uh, for a couple of reasons, one, cause I mess with it and I do things like that. And two, because, um, what happens is if you like, uh, if you, dread your hair, the neglect method, and just let it go, for the most part, besides separating and stuff, um, the hair that falls out of your scalp here, like, if this is, like, the follicle right here, it will fall out and, like, get tangled up around here somewhere, and then this part will fold down, and it'll look like it's the bottom of your hair, but it's actually the top part just folding down. And that effectively makes your hair look like it's growing because it just keeps falling down and getting trapped and tangled, which is good because it's like uh, thickening up your dread. Um, but it makes it look like you're growing hair at a ridiculous rate when you're dreading it, but actually it's just the hair falling out, staying in the dread, and then retangling up. So for the most part, I'm pretty much past that stage besides these long ones. What they are going to eventually turn into um, is something, hey, let me take this band out, I marked it because I have a bunch of dreads and it's super hard to find the one that I'm talking about. Okay, so, so this one um, had a really, really weird thing where it was a long dread and then it just literally like flipped back and then like tied itself and like I don't know if you can see but um this is not long so some of my hair is this long some of it is this long if it would was all this length I don't think it would look that good because I'd have like a bob haircut of dreads like something like that I wouldn't like that so I don't mind that I've kind of pulled a few of them out 
and lengthened them um, because they're still dreaded up and I don't think it looks bad. But they are still shrinking, so or maturing and shrinking and getting tighter. So um, it's a weird uh, rate of growing hair when I mean it's falling down and, and retangling and shrinking hair. The shrinking happens um, within like a two to three month period, like probably, I don't know, probably like seven months into it, you'll start to see things really, really shrink up um, instead of being like kind of big fluffy dreads they'll start to like really really get tight and pull up and maybe do that zigzag thing so you can keep that if you want if it fits your style if not you can do what I did and take it out but um, there will definitely definitely be shrinkage and uh, you just have to like be prepared for that so I would not start dreading your hair with um, with at least a length that you would be happy for it to shrink back to. So if it's if you have hair like down to here, um, you know, in a year it might get a little bit longer because of those reasons that I said. But when it shrinks um, and like really really sucks up, it's gonna go at least there, if not more. So um, yeah, you I would I would definitely say grow your hair out. Um, a very very decent length don't let it get don't start it when it's super short you know so um this like Florida Sun is crazy there's like an afternoon thunderstorm right here and then like the Sun's right there and they're just fighting so I'll just end the video right there uh, be prepared for shrinkage it's gonna shrink up a lot and um, yep that's it